folks, John Kitts here, playing Sail Away, and what I'm going to try to do this time is uh, a tutorial, let's go through the tutorial, see whether I can pick something up that maybe I should have done this first time, and I'd know more about this game, so if you watch my last video, you probably we're cringing if you know anything about sailing because I don't know anything at all about sailing. So maybe this will help me out a little bit. And uh, I appreciate it very much if you would click on the like button, give me a little bit of show of support. And if you want to support the channel, hit the uh, subscribe button. And if you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see a little icon there that'll help you do just that. So. Welcome to Sail Away, they say. Uh, helps you get on your way. So let's see how that goes. Uh, you need to sail the Nordic folk boat. I've sailed that uh, for this. Uh, do you want to switch to the Nordic folk boat? Uh, yes, I do. And it's windy wherever I am. So is this a new location or is this... This must be, yeah, it's a new location because my flag is a Canadian flag. So, uh, welcome to Sail Away. Thank you for taking this brief introduction tour. Uh, click next to check out what you can do with Sail Away. Well, according to this, you can steer and operate the boat with, like you would do with a real sailboat. To steer, click the helm with the mouse, hold down the mouse button, hold the mouse button down and drag it to left or right. You can also use the A and D key. Let's try to do it manually, shall we? Uh, that's this thing. Oh, here we go. There I go. I am doing it. I am steering. So if I try to turn around here, uh, pretty much, okay, this might be a little bit difficult. If I try to do this, am I still steering? I think I am. Okay. I am actually steering, although without a sail up, I don't know how I'm accomplishing this act. Seems to be so yeah, I guess it would self center, wouldn't it? The water would push the rudder back in the correct direction. Uh, okay, I just lost my video there. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Now, so I can also press A and D. So let's see. Okay, I'm now pressing A. I don't know how it is. And I'm turning because the sail's not up. But there we go. I guess y'all know more than I do, so it's probably a silly thing for me to think. Okay, let's go next. That was steering. Look around. You can look around by clicking somewhere on an empty space on the screen and drag the most left or right while you hold the most button down, which is what I'm doing here. As you see, I'm looking around. Next, to move to a different position on the boat, you can either click the blue circles that light up when you move your most, most uh, press the page up or page down key, or use the button on the screen in the right corner, uh, right? We'll use the button in the bottom right corner of the screen, which is that one. So, first of all, I can do it this way. 
or if I go to page up and page down, which is what I'm doing here, or I can just click on that, go through all those things which we just did, and this brings us back to the helm. Okay. To adjust a sail, you can click a rope called a line on a boat and then pull or ease it with the mouse. But in this tutorial, tutorial your sails, your, your skills level is set to beginner and all you can do is steer. Well, that's helpful or not. Nice to have been able to do a little bit here. Okay, next. If you want to change the skill level, you can do it through the main menu, top right button or escape key, and select options play. What's the next one? Activities. Okay, let's go back here again now. Press escape and I don't want to quit the tutorial. Options. What did it say? Gameplay? Uh, skill level. Basic. Well, it's on basic now, not on beginner. So basic will let me do what? Everything. Okay, advanced, it's everything manual, but you still have the helping hand. Basic is raise reef sails and put sheets and pull sheets yourself. The game shows how to adjust the sail. All right. Well, that's what I was. Maybe I just didn't try hard enough. Okay, back out of here. Resume. And you're saying... Still not going to let me do it. All right, on to the next one. Activities. Also in the main menu, right top button, you can find other tutorials, accept a challenge, join a race, or Click one of the lines that hangs over the cabin. Why did you tell me to do that? Click one of the lines. I just click it. All right, let's go up here. One of the lines that hangs over the cabin. Just click the line main sheet 100. Try to make telltales. Which are, of course, I don't have the sheet up, the sail up. Sheet is the line, is it? Uh, I think I would have to click that, but I can't do that at this point because I'm only at the beginner's level. Okay, so let's uh, give that one a go for now or a pass. I don't want to be raising my level too high at the beginning here until I find out what's supposed to be doing. Uh, okay, you can join a race or accept an invitation from someone to sail together. Sail 
together. Now that's what I was confused about before, whether that means I could sail on their boat or sail alongside them and see their boat or just be sailing in the same place. I don't know. Finished. Thank you. Don't forget to check out the other tutorials. Do you want to start the next tutorial? Yes. And here we are at the next tutorial. As a helmsman, I'm a helmsman. You need to know a few basic things before you start turning that wheel or pull that helm. Lucky for you, it's fairly easy to learn. Momentum. When you turn the steering wheel, the boat does not respond immediately. This is because a boat is big and heavy. It responds with a a with a excuse me while I try to enunciate my words. It responds with a delay. Try it if you want, but I do want. Except I can't seem to move around. Uh, okay. I'll, can't even go to a new position. How can I try it? Or is there a line? No, that's not mine. Stay. Uh, gee, guys. Right, I can use the a, uh, a and the D key, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Yes, it is. My heading is changing. You know, that's the light blue water. Okay. And there you can see. I am by the clouds. And I am moving around. Unfortunately, can't see the sails or I can't do anything else. So let us move on. Uh, one moment, please. Having hang on while the boat turns against the wind. Okay. This angle is lowering. True wind angle and apparent, apparent wind angle. Okay. Against the wind. You can't sail straight against the wind. The sails are flapping back and forth. The boat lies dead in the water. The rudder hardly works because you have no speed. Except in the last tutorial. Uh, this is called In Irons. Oh, I'll put that and do that. However, I'm trying to move around here. And I'm not being able to look around the boat. Anyway, we have turned against the wind. Uh, when the boat has no speed, there is no pressure on the rudder and the boat will steer very slowly. You need forward speed to be able to steer properly. Okay. Uh, you can recognize when the boat is in irons. The front bow, the front or bow, is pointing towards the wind. The angle to the wind is around zero degrees. It is around zero degrees. What's that to call that? Uh, true wind angle. Apparent wind angle. Okay, well, here we go. Zero degrees. Ta-da! Uh, Okay, this angle is called the true wind angle, or short TWA. See if you can find, see if you can find the value for the true wind angle. Well, zero. Can't, still can't move around, can't change my Visual location. All right. Either I'm missing everything or this tutorial is a little bit buggered. 
Okay, upwind, one. Try to steer the boat to the right, starboard, away from the wind until the true wind angle is about 45 degrees. Push the helm away from you. Well, I can't push anything right now, so we're using the, I'm assuming I'm looking forward here. Can't change anything. This arrow is pretty much meaningless. So once we go to the right, so I guess I'll try using the D key. Oops. No, it still can't let me move. And what does it want? 45 degrees. Which is, that's no, 30, it's 40. Oh, wait a second now. Huh? Yeah, that's 50. Oh, wait, now, no, I'm wrong. That's 60. 30, so 40. Would be right about there. Oh, look, you recognize that I did it. Okay, upwind two. You are now sailing upwind. Most boats will start moving forward at a TWA of about 40 to 45 degrees. Now, try to steer the boat further away from the wind until the TWA is somewhere between 90 and 150. And it says, that pop-up says, try to steer to the right until the wind is coming from the side. You know, I got that part. Between 90 and 150. So, we continue our little, okay, that's 90 there. 50, 60, 70, no, wait, no, no, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, something moved over there. That's the flag in the stern, so I'm looking straight off that third direction. Okay, so I've done that. Now, um, I'm past a 90 degrees angle. Actually, I'm 120 to the wind. You are now sailing on a reach. The wind is coming from your side. This is when the boat will sail fastest. Okay. Uh, check next to watch how the boat steering further. J uh, click next to watch how the boat steers further until the TWA is almost 180 degrees. To watch, so it's going to do it on its own? Yes it is. So now it's swinging around. I sure hope we're not coming into a shoal or anything, but I can't see anything except this flags fluttering in my face. Okay, now we're downwind. You are now sailing downwind. The wind is coming from behind. Funny enough, this is when most boats sail the slowest. Click next to find out what happens when we steer the boat just a little bit further. Click next, but it doesn't tell me what that I should do it. What is this here? It's T degree zero. Okay, we're right now at 180. So we're right here. This is zero there, but I guess I guess zero at 150. So it's the same numbers on both sides. So 45, 90. That's these are the apparently the visual angles. And so we're down on right now. I guess the sails would look like that. So let's click next. Sound like BAM. This is called a jib. Jibe jib. We stared a little bit too far downwind and suddenly the sails flapped over flipped over to the other side. 
This is when serious accidents can happen on a boat. If the wind is strong enough, you may even break the mast. Well, thanks for that. Okay, next. When you are on a sailboat, always watch out for a jibe. G-Y. Wow, he sounds like I. It's a long Y. I guess it's jibe. The jib is a particular sail, so that would be J-I-B. So it's be jibe. And if you are behind the wheel, keep a good eye on the wind angle and never let it go beyond 180 degrees. Better keep a little margin. Uh, click next to see how we complete the circle. Okay. We're completing the circle. We're continuing to swing round. Okay, we're on the other side. So how do you turn around if you can't go through jibe? Okay, we're reaching. We're back. We're on a reaching course. The wind blows sideways. We are here, I assume. Okay. Oh, I see. We are filling these in for us as we go. Uh, the wind blows sideways. So we are at here, right? which is 120 from the other side. One moment, please. Watch how the boat steers further to the right until it sails upwind again. Yeah, we're getting back over here. Probably at about 45 degrees. And imagine that the boat is kind of moving around. You see the sail, the uh, clouds are moving. Okay, now we're upwind again. The boat is sailing upwind again. Now try to steer further against the wind and keep on turning until you sail upwind 45 degrees. Until you, sa until you sail upwind 45 degrees with the sail on the other side. Push, uh, push the helm away from you so you don't move. This is what the pop-up is doing. It's just telling me that you you should get the heck in business here. Okay, which way are we turning? To the right? So I guess they want us to tack over to the other side. And we are turning, ladies and gentlemen. You can see this happening. Boat come into irons. And now the boat's flipped to the other side. And I continue to hit the D key. Pretty soon it's going to hit 45 degrees. There we are. Tacking. Congratulations, you just made your first tack. Tacking is when you steer up against the wind until the wind comes from the other side of the boat. Tacking is the opposite of jibing. Right, if you're jibing, you're coming across your stern and you're downwind or facing away from the wind. So tacking as you're facing into the wind and you come across the irons. Okay, next again, against the wind. This is how boats can sail against the wind. They sail up the wind for a while, then tack and sail upwind some more. Yes, sail that way, sail that way, that way, and back and forth. Well done. Now you know the most important things about sailing a boat. The courses upwind, reaching, downwind, upwind, reaching, and downwind. Uh, the maneuvers, jibing, and tacking. Okay. So I click OK. Do you want to start the next? I think I better start the next tutorial. Uh, you need to sail the sail away cruiser 38 feet for this. Do you want to switch to 
your Sailway Cruiser 38. Sure, why not? And we can move around once again. Oh, look, we've got an actual helm here. And a whole bunch of little uh, lines, as they say in sailing. All right. As the wind increases, you typically need to sail. As the wind increases, you typically need less sail. Strong wind, small sail. Light wind, big sail. Okay. Let's go through this from a feeble breeze to a mighty storm. Well, thank you very much. Take a beginner into a storm. Why don't you? Sure enough. Okay. Uh, the mainsail and Genoa. The wind is light. The mainsail and the Genoa are raised. Seriously? By raised, do they mean reefed? The mainsail and the Genoa are raised. The Genoa is a big foresail that extends beyond the mast. That's this way, I guess, beyond the mast. Blue in the picture. Oh, this is showing us here. Okay, next. Okay. Too much heel. The wind has increased a bit and the boat heals over more than we want it to. Not only is it uncomfortable, excessive heel slows the boat down and makes it harder to steer. You know, it'd be nicer if I was actually on the boat. But what the heck. All right. I can't shift it up and down. I can only turn. So what if I try that? Okay, now we're on the boat. Uh, everything's still reefed, so... I'm not telling us anything here. Uh, and it makes it harder to steer. Click Next. Reefed. Reef 1. To reduce the sail area a bit, we set the first reef. In Sail Away, all we need to do is pull the line called Main Reef 1 to 100%. The Main Reef will become a bit smaller and the boat will have less heel, steer easier, and may even sail faster. Uh, were we supposed to put these sails up? Is that no? I can't do that because I'm thinking I'm still set at beginner mode or whatever a newbie or okay. This here, I think, is what they're talking about. Main Reef One. I'm sorry, what is this we're trying to do here, folks? Let's see, maybe I need to be out here. Okay, I get the feeling this is meant for people who know sailing. Although it sounds like it's teaching us something, it's really not, because I have no idea. What they're talking about. Next, uh, the jib. Oh, look, I'm just putting the jib up. How about that? Now that the wind is even stronger, we need a smaller sail, foresail, as well. The jib, green in the picture. Ta -da. Uh, we removed the Genoa by furling it up and raising up the jib with the jib halyard. 
Uh, it's the same line as before, telling us absolutely nothing. Okay, what was... No, I can't go back. The Genoa... Okay, this is the Genoa up here. I hope I'm saying that right. So they... What did they say? Furled it? Yeah, they furled the Genoa and raised the Jew. Okay, next. The wind has gotten stronger, yet it has become time... Oh, sorry. Wow. The wind has gotten stronger, yet it has become time. It has become time for reef number two. Which is going to do what? The mainsail, or the mainsail, is smaller now. I got the feeling this is screwed up. The mainsail is supposed to be up. Anyway, the main sail is smaller now, but it's still, it still isn't enough. We have one more reef to go. Reef number three. Okay, we heard the wind increase. It's just blasting away there now. All we can do is reduce the sail area now. All, all we can do to reduce the sail area now is lower the jib. Some boats have an even smaller foresail called the number four, red in the diagram. Unfortunately, we don't have one uh, a good. So, we will do without the foresail in the wind. Okay, so here we are. Uh, there is one special foresail that we left out so far, the Jenniker. It is big. It is a big brown sail that is used when the wind blows from behind. Yeah. Do we have a nice... Oh, okay, it's one of those. I've seen those before. The Jenniker. So that's what that is. That looks pretty when you... You're out there taking pictures of people sailing and they put the Jenniker up. So it is... There is a special sailor. The Jenniker... When the wind blows from behind, is it is a light wind or a heavy wind? You put that up? I don't know. The last time the force, one last time the force was from big to small. Jenniker, Genoa, Jib, number four. Hope this all made sense. Not at all. Thank you and that you will have fun experimenting with these sails. Okay. Uh, we're 33 minutes in, in case the next one gets to be even longer and more confusing to me. I'm going to put a stop here and then start it right again. And uh, we'll see where this goes in the next tutorial. So, uh, please hit the like button, and uh, if you want to show your support for the channel, hit the subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment or two, that would be nice. Let me know that I'm sailing in the right direction. And let me know if I'm not sailing in the right direction and I screwed up completely, so maybe next time I won't screw up completely. Anyway, there's our little boat on the water which doesn't look natural at all because the waves are kind of... Anyway. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. So until next time, please do take care.